place the drawing on the scanner. Move over to scan, press scan. Put your USB drive into the scanner. Scan to memory card. Hit make sure it's a JPEG. Hit the power button. It'll save to the device. So it's saved to memory card. This screen will pop up. You go to EPSCAN. And then go to the number one folder, and then you go to the last one that was done, which is Epson 1, which we see that it was the horse. Once you have it saved there, you'll open up VCAR Pro. You'll go to create new file, create your height and width right there, and your width. Go to bottom left, press OK. The beeping is take the paper out. Once you go there, you go to file. import bitmap then you'll go to your epscan file and removable disk G you'll go to the one file and you'll click on this right click and save it as horse right click rename it to whatever you want to rename it and you open. There's your horse. So now, once you get the horse, <clears throat> you go to the bird, which is right there. Click on it. And on this one, you can actually adjust To get the, you see how faded that is. You can actually use it. Keep that at 50%. Move this down. You can actually do some fading here. So as you move that bar back and forth, notice how much darker it gets. And you hit preview. You put apply. Now I click in the center, I left click, and I delete that. Now I come back over and close that. Now you see I have a bunch of little trash in here. So I have to get rid of all that trash. So you just select on the line. Everything turns red. You right click. You're going to ungroup objects. So now I can go in here and zoom in with my mouse and delete these things. Left click, drag a box around, hit delete. 
this box around, hit delete. Best way to do it is select the whole thing. So down here, left click, drag all the way up, select the whole thing. Then I can hold down shift. Hold down, hold down shift, and select my horse, and I can delete everything else around it. So now I've got good clean lines. If I want to rotate, I click on the horse once and then twice. Now I can rotate the horse around this way. So once I get it to where I want it, I select it. I go over here to transform objects and then I tell it how big I want it to be. So we'll do 11 by 11. That makes it 12. Push the fly. Now that I've got what I want, I go to File, Export. The DXF. Save it as horse. And push save. And then I exit out. Do I want to save the changes? You can say no because you just saved it. Then I'm going to take my USB jump drive out. Come over to the machine, place it in here, now that I've got it in there, I'm going to open up sheet cam. If I want to change my size of my material, I can go to job options. And I come over here and I change this to, uh, let's do back to 48 by 48. So everything's back to normal. Press OK. Then I'm going to go to File, Import Drawing. Click on the drawing that I want, which is EPSCAN. It's the horse. Inches, bottom left, press OK. It had some duplicate vectors. It removed it for you. Now that I'm there, I can go over to the magic wand and choose 3 16th or whatever material you're using at the time. Make sure the layer is chosen. You can change your lead in and lead out. Press OK. And that gives me my lines. Now that I like that, I hit Move. Click once on the screen. Use the arrow keys. Hit Green P to send to the green, well, the not so green machine. And we're going to save it as horse. So save it. Press OK. We no longer need that. Now, if we were going to create multiples, I would click on the cross up here. And I'd right click on the screen. And I'd say duplicate. Or, I'm going to control Z that away. I just needed two. That's the easiest way. If I need to right click, hit array parts, I can also tell that I need three. Arrows there. Then, if I needed to, I can select it all and then move the arrow keys to move those around.
I hit the green P. Save it to what I want to save it as. And that's the whole process.